So when I was uh, 13 or 14, I, I got into playing pinball and I really enjoyed pinball. So I wanted to have one at home, so I decided to build my own pinball. So I went into my dad's workshop and I got a bunch of screws and I got a big piece of wood and I, I found a kind of a hard plastic ball. And I, I put this together, I used part of my brother's erector set to make the flippers. And uh, it, it wasn't quite the same experiences as, as the arcade or at the bowling alley where I was playing because I didn't have any way to keep score to see how well I was doing. So I got the idea to take apart a calculator and use a calculator to keep score. Not exactly like what I built, but this is a, a quick example of how you can do this. So if you zoom in here, you can see that the calculator on power up says... <laughs> What's it say? Zero. It says zero when you turn it on. Okay. LED, Wait, no. Oh, the LED. Yes, you were pointing to the printout. Okay, oh, there it is. She was zero. So it shows zero. Two eight zero zero eight. Okay, there, that's all right. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's okay. go back here. We're going back. Okay. Man, these things are complicated. Okay. So when you launch the ball into the play field, normally there's a shooter rod down the right side of the play field, and the ball goes shooting up a thing called the in lane. And on the in lane, it goes out onto the play field and then it starts bouncing around. Well, what I did was I took the, the buttons off the calculator and I wired to each button so that when I launched the ball, it would roll across one. So if you look across on the calculator. Nice! One. And you can see the wires and there's some copper strips here. And then the next thing it rolled across was a plus. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> so now the ball is out onto the play field and it's rolling around and you're flipping it and it rolls across the equal sign so you take the button for the equal sign you put that all over the play field so you can go <laughs> you roll across now it says two three four five six okay. do it some more do it some more yay so you can use almost any type of switch you want out there that the ball can trigger it could be stand-up switches so, and, and, and all you did is two pieces of tinfoil, and each one is attached to a little piece of wire that goes to the two contacts that are where that button would be. Yeah, so, okay. you know, the, I just taped over the side here the actual, you know, here's, yeah. the, here's the keypad I took right. out. And then I just wired to the little solder pads inside where the button would normally touch. So, now, here's a modification. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you want to get more advanced, now I'm a little older and wiser, you can actually have areas where the ball will roll down, for instance, seven. So now it says seven plus. Now every time <gasps> it's multiplied by Whoa. seven. So this is very much like a state machine. The ball retains its state on the play field. And old electronic, uh, electromechanical pinball machines use this type of technique. So. I mean, you could, there's probably a lot of other things you could do. You could do square roots uh, of your score or... <laughs> Jerry, Exponential. you could put your TV remote on there and hook up wires to it and contacts so that you could roll over things that could turn on different channels. Or you could get your Radio Shack plug-and-play power module and turn <laughs> lights on and off in your house! <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's really fun. And you, by putting little gates on these different directions, you can assure that the ball rolls the correct direction, too. So oh. you put little trap doors so the ball can only, you know, if the ball's coming up here, you don't want it to roll across plus and seven backwards. It might get into a bad state, but if you, yeah. you put a little trap door so the ball has to roll from the top down and... You could put a little trap door under the guy who's playing and have this go to your solenoid, <laughs> which opens right the little trap door. If only we had a trap door in the floor here. So there's oh look, Weird Wolf is sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a, I used a printing calculator. Here's for people like Trish that like to cheat. Now you can have paper proof of. Oh, oh, the readout. <laughs> yeah. Busted. And